Hey, hey, we are back. Still continuing with algebraic expressions, looking to do a little bit of evaluating, okay? So when you see the word, and I'll get this here, when you see the word evaluate, okay? When you see that word, it means what you're looking to do is substitute numbers in for the variables so we can actually get an answer. To evaluate means to come up with a number answer is what it means. Okay? So in this case, in all of these cases, in fact, the only way we can evaluate is if we know what numbers to put in for the variables. And you'll see, I'm uh, just looking here, uh, x minus y. So we know that x is 57 and y is 29. So it tells us to put in 57 for x and it tells us to put in 29 for y. Okay? Now most commonly you will see brackets. Whenever you substitute a number in for a variable, in for a letter, right, you'll see them in brackets. Right? And I'll show you why in a few minutes why the brackets are useful here when we go on to the next one. But really we put an equal sign in front because there was no equal. We say x minus y equals 57 minus 29. And it only equals 57 minus 29 because the question says evaluate x minus y when x equals 57 and y equals 29, right? And then we just do a little subtraction, okay? 57 minus 29 looks to me a lot like 28, right? And that's how we got the answer that uh, is there on the sheet. This one here, 4t, it tells me that t is equal to 15, so it means I need to put 15 in for t, right? So we'll start with the equal sign, okay? Now here's where the bracket, remember I said always put it in brackets? Here's where the bracket shows up very useful, because 4t really means 4 times t. If I use the bracket, well bracket automatically means multiplication. So I can see 4 times t right away, and I get 4 times 15 is 60. And hence we have the answer of 60. All right, let's move on. A divided by B, right? Now that's not a good looking fraction in the, um, in the slide, but that slash means division. A divided by B. Well, I know that A is 200 and B is 8. So this is going to equal 200 over 8, okay? Now in this case, the brackets aren't useful at all because it's division. It would be division whether the brackets are there or not. But we put them in uh, to show that we're substituting. And then 200 divided by 8 is 25. And our answer is 25, okay? And similarly, we'll do the fourth one. It tells us that P is 40 and Q is 25. Well, we have 10, P is 40, and Q is 25. All right. Now, there's an intermediate step here because we have to go 10 times 40 to get 400 over 25, right? And then you get 400, divide that by 25, Right, 400 divided by 25 is 16. Right? And that's how we got all four answers there that are in the PowerPoint slide.